This video is sponsored by Curiosity Stream. A still lake on a warm summer day. A picture of serenity. Not for this adult damselfly. It only has about 12 days to live, and that's if it doesn't get eaten sometime in the next 11. The lake is full of predators that would like to swallow, suffocate, or suck the insides out of an unfortunate damsel. But these damsels can also attack without remorse. They'll bite large dragonflies that could easily eat them. Because a battle for life and death is looming underwater, their future is at stake. Can the damsels avert the killing? Meet the common blue. As the uninspiring name suggests, these damselflies are common and blue. They are found all over Europe, except for Iceland. It's too cold there. Like all insects, the common blue is exothermic. If the air is chilly, they can't warm their engines enough to fly, too hot, and their body can have a meltdown. And don't even think about what happens when it rains. Damselflies live fast, at 16 wing beats per second, which makes a lot of sense considering they only have around 12 days to live. There's no time to waste. Such a short time in the sky, yet their ancestors appeared around 300 million years ago. They were among the first insects to fly. Their success is the result of two very special qualities, fantastic flying abilities and well-developed eyes. Damselfly eyes are made up of thousands of facets, which produce a clearer and less pixelated image than in other smaller-eyed insects. Their eyes are either side of their heads. This comes in handy when hiding behind a blade of grass. Camouflage and almost 360-degree vision, a perfect way to spy on the monsters of the lake. The sex life of damsels is also based on sight, specifically on color. Males and females have different colors, so color is key to identifying potential mates. But the large, less delicate cousins of the damselflies, the dragonflies, have even better eyesight. Their eyes are so large that they meet in the middle, all the better to hunt smaller dragonflies, and damsels, of course. Yet, there is one damsel species that seems to show no fear of its scary relatives. It may not be rare, but it is feisty, aggressive, and relentless in attack mode. You guessed it, the common blue. Did you know? You can find our long Terra Matter Studios documentary about these amazing dragons and damsels on Curiosity Stream. Curiosity Stream is the best place to discover and watch documentaries about nature, science, history, technology, and so much more. It offers exclusive award-winning films and shows that you can't watch anywhere else, as well as the deepest collection of the best documentaries from around the world. Among them, you can find some of our very own long-form Terra Matter Studios documentaries there. Learn about the secret life of bees, experience the beauty of Brazil's rainforest, or watch how elephants decide who is king. Whatever your interest, Curiosity Stream has got you covered. Whether you prefer watching on your phone on your way to work, on your tablet, or on TV from the comfort of your couch, Curiosity Stream is available worldwide on almost every device. And the best thing? New series are added every week, so you'll never run out of new content to explore. Plus, Curiosity Stream is really affordable. Yearly plans start at under $4 a month, and if you use our code TerraMatter when signing up, you'll get a 25% discount. Just click the link below or scan this QR code. So, if you're a fan of nature, history, and science content, you will love what Curiosity Stream has to offer. And now, back to our common blue damselfly. The common blue. A still lake on a warm summer's day. Tiny insects attract the attention of swarms of common blue damselflies. Until the enemy appears on the pond. A bug-eyed monster and one of the world's largest dragonfly species, the emperor. This female wants to lay her eggs in peace, but the blues can't afford to let that happen. They are not territorial. There's another reason the common blue damselflies must stop the emperor. To safeguard the future. In another time, in another place, in another form, the babies of this emperor might eat their babies. The swarm shows no mercy. 
Had the emperor managed to lay her eggs, they would have hatched into nymphs. Nymph by name, but not by nature. These guys are monsters. Like its mother, the emperor nymph is huge and a voracious predator. The delicate little common blue nymph doesn't stand a chance against its impossible extending jaws and lightning fast strike capability. You can see why common blues risk their lives to attack these giant dragonflies above the water. The nymph stage of the life cycle of both damsels and dragons can last up to three years. Over that period, they'll shed their exoskeletons on a number of occasions. When they leave the water, they will molt one last time before a fully formed adult emerges. Ready for its most important mission, to find a mate and to mate as fast and as many times as possible in its short life. A common blue male buzzes the lake looking for a female, typically greenish or golden brown in color. Once he overcomes the competition, he clasps the female by the neck. Even if she is willing, the female initially makes no attempt to copulate. And this is only act one. Act two involves a lot of energetic coaxing on the male's part. The final act only comes when she bends to his will and connects to the male's reproductive organs to form the mating wheel. Oh, looks like a heart. How romantic. But that doesn't mean that love is in the air. The male is already working hard behind the scenes to ensure this female is his and only his. He has a specially shaped penis with two hook-like extensions for scooping out any sperm deposited by rival males. Now he needs his mates to lay her eggs quickly before another male comes along and scoops out his sperm. The females of some species of damselfly will eat their partner straight after the final act but not the common blue. The male holds his mate above the water while she prepares to lay her eggs below. He will pull her out if she goes under, up to a certain point. But if it gets too dangerous, he'll break the bond. Males hate water. It doesn't matter if a male is one day old or 12. He never loses his libido. The sex is constant right up until his dying breath. For the common blue, being a sex machine and a fearless, feisty dragon slayer means a future blessed with many eggs, from which will emerge many nymphs, so the species may remain, well, common. Never underestimate insects. So, check out our Wild to Know playlist for more awesome animals, big or small.